Oh no! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, design, and event business tips that I do here on my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to do a balloon garland without using fishing wire. That's right. And it's just in time for the new year because we both know that 2020 has been a struggle. So if you want to learn how to do a balloon garland without fishing wire for maybe your happy new year quarantine party, please keep watching. RC and Z has sponsored this video yet again. I will link this particular kit in the description box below so you can purchase it at your own convenience if you want to replicate this exact balloon garland. <laughs> yes, you are gonna be part. Let's make sure I'm in focus. In these balloon kits, I love how they give you various size balloons. I always separate the two size balloons so I can blow them up together and then eventually combine the smaller balloons with the bigger balloons which I will show you in later on in this video. I always show you guys how to tie two balloons together but there is a trick that I've learned how to tie one balloon where it doesn't cause blisters on your fingers so you're actually going to take your pointer finger and your middle finger and put them together while squeezing the neck um, with your thumb and then you're going to wrap around the loop and then kind of put the end between the pointer and the ring finger and then you're going to pull the balloon over that end part and then make sure your fingers stay together and just kind of pull that neck through so again you're just going to put your two fingers together wrap the neck around it completely okay don't let go put it between your two fingers and then pull that elastic over it and you have a wonderful tied balloon that you won't get blisters with Next, you're going to take your bigger balloon, which is around a 12 inch balloon and a 5 inch balloon, and kind of put them together. So, all I do is put the necks together and kind of twist them around to create a four cluster balloon. For obvious reasons, you're going to repeat the same thing with each color in the balloons. I like putting my colors together. It seems to go well for me. I'm going to try doing something that's more sporadic. But these gold balloons in these kits are super high quality. I know I talked about them in my previous video with the circle arch, but I absolutely love these balloons. So if you want to get a kit that's local, you know, that's not inexpensive and you want to do something for your family and friends, this is a great kit to start with and practice so you're not spending so much money on high quality balloons. And all Next, we are going to take our four balloon clusters and actually combine them 
together so you're just going to grab the neck of each one and kind of twist one balloon with the other one so that way it stays together the only thing about these balloon kits is that the black balloons were pretty like I don't know if it was my mom's house where it was kind of sticky but it was kind of hard of a challenge but you get to create this beautiful cluster of eight and just make sure you know you're doing it right when all of the necks of the balloons are pretty much together I get so inspired by other balloon artists here on YouTube and I follow um, Evie who's on balloon online classes I think that's her YouTube name and I wanted to take on the challenge of tying two balloon clusters together and let me tell you she says it in her videos that it is extremely hard and you know I always give credit where it's due but I was able to manage with these I think Qualitex and Tuvix have longer necks but I did this pretty well so there's two clusters together you can see it's just eight balloons and then you're going to do the same thing with each color so the white ones i'm combining them to create a eight balloon cluster and then i'm going to put two eight balloon clusters together by tying the necks now the one thing evie had recommended is that you look for something that's pretty long um and that you can stretch out i'm going to let you guys know this is a challenge that you probably want to take on however it's going to hurt your fingers so be prepared to have almost cramps because by the time I was done with this video, my hands were hurting. <laughs> In my one-on-one -on -one coaching program with the designers that I actually coach, especially those who are balloon stylists, I always tell them you have to time yourself when it comes to practicing these balloon garlands because if you're trying a different technique and you want to find one that works for you, my goal on the channel is just to give you guys options and to take on challenges for myself. So if I see something from another YouTuber, why not take on that challenge and give them credit? Didn't I tell you I was a little frustrated, so excuse the growling. But when you're done putting the eight balloon clusters together, it should look something like this. You should have look like a cloud or whatever, but you're gonna do that with every single color. And this is a great way that if you don't feel comfortable using fishing wire, this is another technique where you don't have to spend that much and you can actually utilize this for your balloon garland. It is a challenging one. It's not my favorite. So I'll continue to show you different techniques that I find and what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So make sure you're trying different techniques, timing yourself and seeing which one works for you as a balloon artist. If you saw my video l last time, I had mentioned that I used a backdrop from Moxica to utilize for the new year. They do customized backdrops and they do amazing work. You can actually get it customized or they have pre-made um, backdrops that they ship out to you. So if you're interested, I give more of my feedback in my previous video. So the next step when it comes to utilizing um, the balloon garland is that I end up tying both eight um, the clusters that we created inside and then kind of measure them out. For the gold ones, because they were pretty tight, I decided to use a 260 balloon and all you have to do is just kind of tie a knot. Um, definitely double it when you're at events. Sometimes I double it when I'm just home practicing. Um, but whenever you're doing events, make sure it is double knotted and you can also utilize this way with all of your clusters to put them together. So remember this technique is utilizing no fishing wire with the balloon garlands. However, you can use two sixties if you don't 
feel comfortable tying the balloon clusters or you can tie all of the balloon clusters together the gold ones were just pretty the neck wasn't as uh what's the word like lengthy so i just used the 260 so you can combine multiple you know techniques guys feel free to be creative with your balloon garlands and the more techniques you learn obviously the more of an expert you are and you know what you can utilize to maybe be more efficient with your event business Yeah, that little stool wasn't doing it for me. Eventually, I switch out for a chair, so don't worry. I don't fall, guys. But what I end up doing is just using balloon string and then tying it to the balloon garland and then attaching that to the poles. I have actually done this in a previous video that I will link in the description box below. You can utilize it that way. Or you can take a 260, however you guys feel the need that you want to do obviously i'm bringing the 260s back i always say you don't really need to utilize the same color especially if you're dealing with any color outside of white the only ones i will use that match like the 260s that match would be the white clusters however i've attached this last cluster and then i bought that blue 260 into the white cluster and you really can't see it so it's not the worst case scenario and then what you always want to do is make sure you're wrapping it around multiple balloons in kind of an eight figure way so that way it stays um, firm um, so that way your balloons are not moving especially being outdoors which is where I am now. Now for this balloon kit, I really couldn't um, utilize a full garland going from top to bottom all the way around, but you can get, um, remember I used about two kits to make it a lot more fluffy looking and fuller. I always call it fluffy, but it's fuller. And what I ended up doing in the middle was just kind of tying a string and then attaching it to the back. I completely forgot to film this. So if it's something you wanna see, because having these backdrops on the back can be challenging let me know in the comment section below and then just this last part is to put those glue dots onto the balloons i actually wanted to slow this portion down because you want to make sure the biggest thing i see is people are not making sure the neck of the balloon garland is sticking in the garland so you do not see it remember in order to create that organic look you cannot see the ends of your balloons that actually that actually is not professional and it doesn't look good so make sure when using these glue dots that you're actually putting the neck in and then attaching the balloons you can even move the 12 inch balloons from the balloon garland over just so that it really does stick in there i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i hope you guys have a happy new year in may 2021 be more fulfilling than 2020. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all